Welcome back, friends. Mark Piotter here with Going Lo-Fi in 2021, part six. Today, we are welcoming back Joe Corral, and I thank him one more time for his invaluable contribution to this project. Let's finish recording the song now with the bass, the drums, and the vocals. All right, now we're on. It sounds pretty decent. It really does for one mic. Okay, I think I want to put the bass guitar back up. Back up, yeah. Just to get it. Okay. Because I'm not hearing your low end note. I'm hearing right. that, but I'm not hearing. I'm hearing yeah. just a. It's, mm. it's like. Okay, excellent. So all we got to really worry about is playing along to the recording. Okay, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> <laughs> the rest, I'll handle. What was what, the expression? We'll fix I it in post. But, uh, there is no post. <laughs> yeah. Not with lo-fi. There's no post. This is lo-fi. <laughs> At this point in the recording process, Joe and I listened back and noticed that the harmonica might be a little too loud after the harmonica solo is over, and it might overpower the vocals of the second half of the song. So what we're going to do now is we're going to record the bass and drums again but you're going to see how I go to this volume knob on my left and I turn it during the performance to try to adjust for the volume level of the overpowering harmonica. The whole world is watching! Uh, don't watch! <laughs> I'm nervous if you watch! <laughs> you ready to record? Okay, recording everything including the tape noise. better when I can hear it. Oh my gosh. There was that one little moment where I had to adjust this and I couldn't play the bass. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. yeah, we should listen to it. <laughs> should we see how it sounds? We should, do we dare? Do, do we dare? <laughs> dare, dare. We're, we may be sorely disappointed. <laughs> Given the limitations we have, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I was going to say, I, I, as long as you're happy with what I played, I think it sounds... Yeah. Like... <laughs> Everybody say, yay! Oh, it hurts. I tell you I love you. Dance with me, Mary Lou. Did you get that? Dance with me, Mary Lou. That's it. There we go. One more time. Dance with me, Mary Lou. Um, question. Clapping at the beginning or no? I don't think so. I, I think when we get to the other part, maybe. That's just me. When we're in, uh, when you get to the, was it the bridge? Yeah. Close and practice. Yeah. Dance with me, Mary Lou. Super. <laughs> Decrease the quality a little bit. <laughs> just a little Turn bit. Because we don't want this thing to be good. <laughs> No. Low fi Yes. <laughs> Life is a short time. Let's get acquainted. I'll give you now I've got just one thought. <laughs> oh man. And I've got <laughs> I have to do it all in one take. Yeah. Oh. And this by the way, this idea to have it just, you know, a cappella. Mm -hmm is based off of a, a documentary I saw about the blues. Oh. 
where they were saying that the blues really originated from one voice and one instrument. Robert Johnson. And the one instrument could be nothing more than a hand clapping. Yeah. It could be a harmonica. It could be a washboard. It could That's be a true. guitar. No, but I like that. It's just it one great. and one. That's it. Yeah. I and, like it. <laughs> and so that's the where this comes from. Bruce Springsteen did that on... <laughs> Almost gospel. But I ain't got you. Yeah. I ain't got you. That's the, the hook of it. You need to leave that in. I hope that's recording. Is that all recording? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Recording what we thought would be all the elements of the song and listening back to it, I was not quite happy with the opening conga part anymore because it seems to get lost and buried under the tape noise. So I doubled the part playing on the back of an acoustic guitar. Now recording the last part of the lo-fi song. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching part six and stay tuned for the music video, Just One Chance, coming soon.